Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and feel free to hit that subscribe button and share some love. So today I have a quick and easy DIY coin purse. This is actually the perfect DIY to do if you have any old scraps of fabric lying around that you just want to use up. You could even make a few for your friends or your family. Okay, so for this DIY you're going to need your chosen fabric, a pattern for the purse, a four inch zip or whatever length that you decide to do for the purse. Okay, so for the pattern, simply choose the length and width that you want um, your purse to be. So I chose a 7cm long and 10cm wide. So once you've made your basic shape of the purse, you're going to want to add 1cm seam allowance to the top and the sides. And then the bottom is going to be left on its own because it's going to be on the fold. So taking your chosen fabric, fold it over. And then you're going to pin your pattern to the fabric, making sure that the bottom of the pattern is at the fold of your fabric. So once you're done, go ahead and cut it out. Okay, so at the top of the fabric, you're going to need to mark in where your zip will start and finish. So I measured in by one centimeter on both ends of the fabric. So take your zip and align it with the marks that you've just made and then pin it in place to secure it. So now using the zipper foot on your machine, sew the zip to the fabric. When you get um, close to the zipper pull, just remove it from the machine, close the zip and then continue sewing the rest of the zip to the fabric. So now that it's sewn down, open and close the zip a few times just to make sure that it's not catching in any of the fabric. So taking the other end of the fabric and the other half of the zip, pin them together and repeat the previous steps. So the next step is to close each side seams. Fold the zip over so it's face to face and then you're going to sew one centimetre the whole way down and then repeat this on the other side. So now that you've that done, you're going to want to cut off the excess zip and then trim the corners just to reduce the bulk. Okay, so this step is optional, but I took my pinking shears and trimmed the side seams just to help reduce any fraying of the fabric. Okay, so now turn your pores the right way around and then check your zip a few more times just to make sure that the fabric isn't catching. So once you're done, give it an iron and you're good to go. The size I chose is perfect fit for my change and for my cards. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick DIY video. If you did, please hit that like button and even share it with your friends so they can enjoy it too. And if you like fashion and DIY videos, hit that subscribe button as I have plenty more videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!